This is part two of the system tree test, and I'm going to show you how I program a system in that is not normally recognized by Hacksy. In my config folder, I have a system detection file. That's what I'm going to open up to make the adjustment. And I have my A to Z, which is normal, and I use my prefix system just to keep them in order. That's what I've been doing up to this point. But if I go by system, I have a lot of these programmed in now. I have system that is not programmed in yet. I'm going to go into my unknown folder and I see that Vectrex is not programmed in there. So I'm just going to be on a random Vectrex game, it doesn't matter which. And I'm going to look up at the game ID at the top right where it says CLV hyphen Z. After the CLV and the hyphen, the letter there is going to be the, prefi the prefix that matters as far as adding it to the tree. So I'm going into my system detection file and you see several prefixes as I scroll down there's already been several added I'm gonna to go to one that has Z and I'm just gonna copy it as a template from this point here now the executable would be the file type and that's what it shows in here bin vec that's what points to the emulator so I'm going to change my template here of course it'd be bin vec the system name I'm going to change to vectrex and the extension would be the file type and you should know this in advance especially if you're doing compressed files that's vec and a support zip type I have is true because it does support zip files. Now that's fine. Now I'm going to add one more system that's not in there right now. I'm going to go to my A to Z. And I have Sega CD, which is not currently in there. That runs with the Pico drive with a 32X bin. So I'm going to replicate the 32x as a template in the extensions I run this in I usually do CSO and ISO Obviously, it does not support zip, so I have to change that to false. The bin type stays the same because Pico Drive is the actual thing that runs it. But I'm going to change the system name to Sega CD. Now I'm going to save this file, and I should have Sega CD and Vectrex in my system tree when I reopen Hacksheet. And the thousand errors that I had before have been remedied so no problems there anymore it takes a few seconds to open because it does have to load all the files into memory he did confirm with me the final version is going to use a different protocol as far as detecting the systems it's going to be emulator based I'm going by system. Now you see I have Sega CD in there. Just fine. And I have Vectrex in there. Just fine. Now there's a little conflict with this file right now that makes it hard to distinguish between Famicom Disk System games and NES games. So for right now I actually have them merged together in the same directory. But his emulator based file is going to make that easier to detect. And my ColecoVision games, since they're actually Game Boy Advance games, I have them merged with Game Boy Advance folder. But anyways, that's uh, part two of the system tree test, and I will let you guys know if any more updates on it, and this should be in Hacksheet as long as there's no issues. Hope you enjoyed the video.